Welcome to the Friday Five with Steve Greenfield on CBT News. Welcome to this week's Friday Five, where we recap the last week's automotive technology deals. This is Steve Greenfield from Automotive Ventures, and thanks for joining us. I hope that everyone had a nice, healthy, and relaxing holiday. It's a new year, and investment activity in the automotive technology space has come out of the gate strong. We have a number of technology deals to announce on today's show, so let's get started. Under a digital automotive chip maker announced that it raised $45 million in additional funding. The Austin-based startup has raised more than $145 million in funding to date. Under makes digital 4D software to find imaging radar technology that works better than today's analog radar technology, is used with autonomous vehicles, and provides improved resolution and detection capabilities. Cloud Trucks, the virtual trucking carrier that empowers independent truck drivers, has closed a Series A funding round of $20.5 million, led by Caffeinated Capital with participation from Kraft Ventures, Kozla Ventures, Sci-Fi VC, Kindred Ventures, Abstract Ventures, and Better Tomorrow Ventures. It also launched a first-of-its-kind payment product, CT Cash, to help truckers manage their payments. The Cloud Trucks app helps truck owners and operators efficiently manage their businesses with technology targeted to the unique needs of the industry. A business in a box for truckers, Cloud Trucks empowers independent truck drivers to optimize their driving schedules for better pay rates, maximize their revenue and cash flow while reducing their operating costs. General Motors is leading a $23 million funding round for an on-demand car maintenance service, Yoshi. It's the second time GM's venture capital arm has invested in the Silicon Valley startup since 2018. Yoshi was founded in 2015 as an on-demand fueling company in California. It would fill a vehicle's tank wherever a driver wanted, instead of the owner having to stop at a gas station. It has since expanded to also offer other services through its apps such as oil changes, car washes, and windshield treatments in five major markets across the U.S. The routing company, form formerly known as Routable AI, a startup that builds dynamic routing and vehicle management solutions for transit providers, has raised $5 million in a seed round led by the engine. The funding, which brings the routing company's total capital raise to $6.175 million, will be used to accelerate commercialization of the startup's dynamic shared rides technology, refine its product, and round out a team that combines extensive rideshare industry leadership experience with deep academic expertise. Startup Crispify monitors automotive in-cabin air quality, identifying viruses and bacteria, including COVID-19. The company announced a $700,000 pre-seed round with participation from Avis Budget Group, Hatcher VC, Kinetic Ventures, Go Ahead Ventures, MTT Ventures, and accelerated program Fusion LA. Ouster, a startup that makes LiDAR sensors for self-driving cars in smart cities, has agreed to go public through a merger with special purpose acquisition company, or SPAC, Colonnade Acquisition Corporation. The deal values Ouster at around $1.9 billion and makes it the fifth LiDAR manufacturer to agree to a SPAC merger in 2020, following Velodyne LiDAR, Luminar Technologies, Innoviz Technologies, and AVA. Speaking of AVA, the laser sensor startup founded by 2X Apple engineers is increasing its war chest by $200 million with an investment by a Hong Kong-based hedge fund ahead of its public listing via reverse merger. Investor interest in AVA is part of a wave of financing deals targeting next-generation auto-related companies focused on fields such as battery, electric, and driverless technologies. LiDAR, a system of laser-based sensors that allows a vehicle to see its surroundings, is among the most expensive components of autonomous cars and key to enabling more advanced self-driving features. With commercialization of robo-taxis still years away, LiDAR companies are targeting limited self-driving features in passenger cars and consumer devices in industrial robots. Cox Automotive has been active so far this year, announcing two acquisitions this week. Cox has acquired Fusion, a computer vision company that, and leader in immersive vehicle imaging solutions for automotive and other industries. Cox Automotive and Fusion began working together back in 2018 on the creation of imaging capabilities for Mannheim Express to simplify and improve the wholesale vehicle listing process. 
This included allowing dealers to walk a car and create a wholesale listing in minutes with the industry's first 360 degree movable images. Since then, the companies have collaborated on 360 degree interior imaging, as well as audio and video tags to further highlight a vehicle's condition. Second up, Cox Automotive announced the acquisition of Dickinson Fleet Services, the leading mobile maintenance provider for medium and heavy duty trucks and trailers in North America. This investment significantly bolsters the capabilities and geographical reach of Cox Automotive Mobility's nationwide pivot fleet services marketplace. Dickinson's breadth of preventative maintenance and mobile emergency repair service capabilities, including its fleet of more than 700 mobile repair units and 800 repair and maintenance technicians, will enhance Pivot's existing network of fleet service offerings. Kite has raised $9 million in funding from DN Capital and Amplo VC. Kite lets consumers rent vehicles through their app or website and then has the rental cars delivered by gig economy workers right to the renter's home. Kite also handles the pickup and refuels the vehicle for no additional charge. Rivian Automotive, the electric truck startup backed by Amazon and Ford Motor Company, is close to raising a new round of funding valuing it at almost $25 billion. Several existing Rivian investors are participating in the round, which will raise several billion dollars. Existing investors in the company include Amazon, T. Rowe Price, BlackRock, Soros Fund Management, CO2, Fidelity Investments, and Barron Capital Group. Car rental app Turo is planning on going public in 2021, buoyed by the company's success and following the strong performance of many tech initial public offerings in 2020. They are undecided whether they will pursue a traditional IPO or go public through a merger with a blank check corporation. Turo is a website where private car owners rent their vehicles by the day, week, or month, including luxury rides like Lamborghinis. Driven Brands filed forms with the SEC for a $100 million initial public offering. Driven Brands has the Meineke, Merlin 200,000 Miles, Take 5 Oil Change, Carstar Auto Body Repair Experts, and Mako Brands. Per the S1 filing, Driven Brand sees opportunity in what it calls the large, recession-resistant, and highly fragmented automotive industry with long-term growth trends. The company operates more than 4,100 locations in 49 states and in 14 countries. More than 2,500 of those locations are franchises. On to our companies to watch. Every week we highlight interesting companies in the automotive technology space to keep an eye on. If you read my monthly newsletter, I showcase a few companies each month, and we take the opportunity here on the Friday Five to share some of those companies each week with you. Today, we'll look at two companies to watch, DealerWing and Nemo Data. First company to watch, DealerWing, was founded in 2011 and is located in Orlando, Florida. DealerWing has grown from a small integration-based marketing company serving two stores to become a leader in service retention marketing, now operating with over 500 stores in 14 states and all of the major metro markets. DealerWing's success can be attributed to creating specific, targeted, customer-based marketing that drives significant traffic and simultaneously and consistently purges the dealer's database. It is this combination that created opportunities for dealers to expand their profit base, provide real ROI improvement, and simultaneously cut costs by reducing extraneous and duplicative marketing efforts. DealerWing utilized proprietary technology to automate the marketing and, and data purge process. Highlighted by a best-in-class web-based instant credit score program, consumers can receive unique free services just for shopping on the dealer's website. This allows consumers to receive their actual credit store and simultaneously provides dealers with valuable leads and customer information, all with a minimum amount of effort and input. The DealerWing credit score program can be found on over 250 dealer websites across the country. Our second company to watch is Nemo Data, which was founded in 2020 by co-founders Gal Bekor and Tom Shekar. Nemo Data works with Fortune 500 enterprise fleets telematic companies, tier one suppliers, and OEMs to provide precision maintenance to every vehicle. Fleet managers use Nemo Data's dynamic maintenance schedule to el eliminate catastrophic roadside breakdowns and increase their fleet's capacity by 150%. Class eight trucks experience a roadside breakdown every 10,000 miles, costing fleets more than $5,000 per truck per year. 
Nemo leverages data to find the best time to send trucks into maintenance and automatically creates a schedule optimized for each individual fleet. Nemo's early detection capabilities track subsystem level de deterioration and automatically integrate insights into the maintenance schedule, preventing catastrophic failures long before they happen. Nemo's schedule increases the number of miles driven and engine hours operated between maintenance services, allowing fleet owners to complete more trips every month and increase fleet uptime by up to five days per truck annually. By reducing engine, tire, and brake failures, Nemo gives drivers confidence that they're driving the safest vehicles. So that's your weekly Friday Five, a quick wrap up of the big deals in automotive technology over the past week. It is an exciting time to be in the automotive space. Make sure you stay tuned in each week to stay up to date on the auto industry's technology M&A activity. And I'll keep my fingers on the pulse of deals being done so you can tune in each week so I can share updates with you. If you're an early stage automotive technology entrepreneur looking to raise money, I'd love to chat with you. Just let me know if I can help. Thank you for tuning in to CBT News for this week's Friday Five, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us for another edition of The Friday Five with your host, Steve Greenfield.